Hello everybody and welcome back to Strategy Saturdays. Now we are gonna pick up right where we left off between Taya and Mai and pray to the seven gods that I actually get cards that aren't just a bun bunch of uh, pool poopy, but I mean, it's gonna be the story deck, so I don't have a whole lot of hope. But, uh, hopefully you're all doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Let's hop right in so I can get this pain. Yeah, I don't need to see this. We already did this. We're gonna hop right in. Oh, brother. I am not excited. <sighs> Second. Give me an extra card because Aya needs it. Hey, look, support cards. A face down. Fairy type monster increases attack and defense by 300. Uh, for, oh. Your fair so what I did last time was I equipped it to a card that was not a fairy. So I had to make sure that I read correctly. That's a fairy. And now this monster's attack is 16. I mean it's still gonna be 16 because then we're gonna punch it. Oh shit. Yet. Oh, it was better, better to put one of these out, but whatever. What is that? Oh, I know what that is. Oh, that's not good. Why? Oh. We're just gonna set a monster. And we're gonna attack the face down. So only if I have a shining friendship in the graveyard. That's fine. I'm just gonna have to keep, oh, I don't like that though. Ooh. So the question is, do I dispel it? All right, which one, what is this? When this card is activated, add one of blaze. During the end phase of the turn, this was sent to the field. Add up to three harpy cards with different names. You can only activate. Ah, Shadow Eyes. All right, so. And then she's gonna activate Shadow Eyes. Yep, good. Get that out of the way. I'll take life point damage. Not harpy chick. I'm gonna take what, 800? I mean, that was the highest in my hand, so. Ow. Come on. Shining friendship. What is this? A light monster. <gasps> yes. Alright, and then you can go into the fence. I know that I have to get a, it's gonna get a one harpy lady. I'm just gonna have to deal with that. This one freaking green marshmallow is like my saving grace. Oh. Nineteen fifty. A lot of defense. Yes, dude. All right, so first we're going to attack you. And I'm probably gonna take some life points. Oh no, I'm not. What an interesting freaking duel this is. I, oof. oh crap baskets. Oh, crap. Oh, cool. Good, good, good. I'll take the life point damage because now I'm strong. Uh, face up monster. Make this boy even stronger. How big is this? 3,700, huh? All right, well, first thing first, we're attacking that immediately. 
because I know what that does. Yeah, that's what I thought. <gasps> Ooh. Again, if it inflicts battle damage to your opponent, I gain life points. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut this guy. We're gonna keep that guy in my hand. I wish it was piercing damage. I know it says for faith up monsters, that's the only downside. Come on, switch over to attack. What's wrong? I cannot believe that this thing is 4,500. This little freaking fairy boy is ridiculous. Okay. What is your... We're gonna keep these in my hand just in case, because Harpy Feather Duster is a thing. That explodes. Alright, finally. If I can get a monster, mage power works too. But I want to try this. Five thousand. So this. Holy shit! I was right. That's really freaking funny. Holy moly! This is see. I actually get cards that are useful. I can use this is. Which one? Oh, so we can get, uh... I mean, game's over, but... All right, I need to finish this. No homie drops. We're ending with my 5,000 attack. Boom! <sighs> okay, so much easier. I surrender, Taya. I don't have the cards to win. I won! Way to go, Taya. You really came through for you. Good match. Whatever. I didn't need these star chips anyway. Mai gave her gave up her star chips and started to walk away. Wait, Mai, I have to ask you something. If you played that last card, wouldn't you have it was a throwaway. It was nothing that Taya wouldn't have been able to beat anyway. Some cards just aren't worth playing, huh, Yugi? Thank you. Yugi, I am. I won these star chips for you. They're so cute in the anime. I know, thank you so much. Sure thing, I'll never forget what you did for me, Taya. You overcame your fears for me, and you've given me the courage to deal with mine. I will duel again, and hopefully the consequences won't be as bad as I fear. I'm gonna have to look to see how the manga handled that, and the anime, cause I know how the anime handled it, but... So we're just gonna skip Kaiba versus Pegasus? That was a pretty important duel. The time had come for the Duelist Kingdom Tournament Finals, and Yugi and Joey were more than ready. I sure hope I'm doing the right thing and deciding to duel again, but with Grandpa's solid stick, I have to. <gasps> Joey, Yugi and Joey walked to the arena and met with two other finalists, Mai and Bandit Keith. Bandit Keith had cheated his way into the finals and had no plans to stop. Yugi, Joey, Mai, and Bandit Keith, I welcome you all to the playoff arena. Here's where the last great duel monster duel shall wage to determine the championship of the Duelist Kingdom. Only one of you shall emerge victorious. Only one shall win the $3 million prize. And of course, the victor in the playoffs shall earn the right to challenge me in the final match. The victor will be granted one request, whatever his or his or her heart most desires. And if it is within my vast part of the soul, their wish shall be granted. The victors will also be declared the undisputed Duelist Kingdom champion and ranked number one in the world. And boys, that'll be me. Truly any duelist that has come this far must realize that the title and not the money is the real prize. Is that so? You're a regular comedian. America! The money is all I need for my sister's operation. Yes, yes, I'm sure some of you have more writing on this term than others. Right, Yugi. You got my... Oh my god, he transformed. He got my grandpa's soul in Mokuba and even settled Kaiba. Wow. 
the first semi-final match was Yugi versus Kaiba. Although Mai was now friends with Yugi, she was playing to win. I used to think that only person that duels could trust was herself. And I met Yugi and I learned blah 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 friendships and honorable and this and that. Okay, let's see if Yugi deck can beat Mai's deck. And going through that, I was just thinking, I was just like, so they eliminated the Bones versus Joey duel. I don't remember that unless that's DLC that I don't remember seeing. And then the second one was Kaiba versus Pegasus, which. Uh, <laughs> just the immediate I think you could feel the like the any wind I had in my cell just poof out of existence. So when this card is sent to a graveyard as a result of battle okay. So if I block I I'm saving that black hole. I really want to do this, but I want to save till I get Black Luster Soldier. Crap. That's not good. Well, not what I wanted to do, but. Come on. I mean, the duel's over after this. 1936? Oh, no, I have just enough. All right, I have 400 life points in a dream. Come on, are the cards? Oh, okay. Give me three turns. This really is literally an anime duel. Oh, and there's the game. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. I figured. That was really fast. Holy shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. We already read this. Okay. It's whenever my gets those. It was the double Harvey Lady's number one. That's what got me. Because the moment that they get on the field, they just buff each other 300 of each. Are you shitting me? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm already fucked. Oh my Christ! What is this? Is uh, any ritual money must also send? Sure. Let's get rid of you. And let's get rid of you. We'll summon Black Lost to Soldier. And we're gonna set. I'm gonna keep these two in my hand. Are you kidding me? Oh. Mirror wall. Wait, is it permanent? This is redonkulous. Each trap, it's, uh, as long as the card remains on the field, oh, as this card, that is pretty bad. Let's 
Pretty bad. That's really bad, actually. Oh my god, she's pain. She's crazy. What do I even do against that? Oh. Oh, I have decisions. But I can't even attack until she gets rid of Mirror Wall. Okay, good. Mirror Wall's gone. That's not good. That's the opposite of good. That means she's gonna summon a harpy, and then that means she can destroy a magic card. Uh. Crap. Oh, well, that's GG. That's game. How the fuck? Oh my god, I'm left with 500 life points. Activate Monster Reborn, or activate Monster Reborn. Give me back Blackluster Soldier. I need to get rid of this stupid, this one. automatically destroy my magic card or not I guess because technically not considered a harpy girl Ooh, okay all right I'm not wasting but I am going to attack this one attack one Ooh, immediately 500 or 500 then you know what summon the bird you just lost Why'd you do that? You just lost. Black Luster Soldier and this duel? I have no idea how that, what? Wait, my, there's something I want to say to you, huh? Thank you. You said a duelist can learn more from defeat than victory and you're correct, but you, my, you taught me a lot today. I had to confront my own fears and weaknesses or I could never have defeated you. Awfully nice of you to say that, but it seems to me I also have a lot more to learn about dueling about myself, but then I suppose no duelist ever learns all there is to know. And maybe it's the most important lesson is that defeat doesn't have to be forever. You won this duel, Yugi, but there will be others. You and I will meet in the arena again, kiddo. And when we do, you better watch out. And they never do again. <laughs> all right, one more. Keith's Machinations. Uh, the second semi-final match was Joey versus Bandit Keith. In order to complete in the compete in the duel, each contestant had to present his tournament entry card, which Joe, Joey shockingly did not have. Unknown to Joey, Bandit Keith stole Joey's entry card the night before. For the rules of the tournament, Joey was granted five minutes to find his car or be disqualified. So Joey searched everywhere but was unable to find it. On the way back or area, he broke down the hallway. Sorry, sis, I came close, real close. Get off the floor, Joey, and quit all oh, your crying. You look like a big baby. Who's crying? I got something in my eye. <laughs> and then him are here, just go, don't blow your nose. And then, you know, every time I think about you, you surprise me, huh? Hey, I told me about your little sister, how you're dueling to win the tournament's prize money for her so she can have <gasps> her operation. <laughs> Not like a bad soap opera, to be honest, but then who doesn't love a bad soap opera? Anyway, see you around. That's my, wait, my, take it. I don't need any more. One thing though, you yeah? know, take Bandit Keith down. Joey ran back to the arena. So the punks come to give us the bad news, huh? Let me guess, you couldn't find your card anywhere. What are you talking about? I got it right here. All right, Keith, time to duel. You know me, blah, 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 blah. There, what I don't understand about this game, and it's fun and everything, but like they're, the core point of like, one of the reasons why these duels work so well at least in the series, was because you had the build-up and they're taking away a lot of the build-up. Like, this is the first time Bandit Keith was even literally introduced, even though in the series he was introduced way later. Ooh, those uh, interesting hand. When did Joey ever play Graceful Charity, though? Red Eyes? Okay, I'm gonna do a crazy play. All right, I don't want Groozies, and I don't want you. But I do want 
X-Raider. We'll just do the classic eye pose and swing for 17. When did he, wait, when did he even use Sakuretsu armor? That literally so long after he even was a thing. I think that was 5Ds, right? 5Ds? All right, um, we're gonna, gonna set. I'm gonna swing again for 17. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. All right, we're gonna set. All right, I'm gonna summon Musaki. And I'm gonna leave that guy set just in case. So, I feel like I should be afraid because the moment he gets a monster, like he's gonna have one hell of a This is it. If you don't do something, I'm gonna win. Red eyes. Oh, okay. That was the easiest duel in this entire. No way he beat me. This duel doesn't count. Ninja card that Joey showed wasn't even his. Therefore, the duel shouldn't count. You ought to be disqualified right there. He's right. My card was missing, so my gave me art hers. But tell me, Keith, how could you have known that this wasn't my card? Uh, I'm all here, so why don't you just explain yourself? He doesn't need to. It's clear that Joey Keith stole Joey's card. That's why it was so certain that you wouldn't be able to find it. Take this control away. Now. That was the easiest car duel I've ever had. Okay. I think. I think I'm going to end it here because usually I do three duels an episode. So the next time it's going to be the finals. It's going to be probably my one of my favorite matches in the entire series their first one which was really good and then the yugi versus make assistant god only knows how long that's going to take but thank you so much for watching hopefully you'll enjoy it uh i'll catch you soon thank you. uh have a good rest of your day my brain died twice there ignore that but take care Bye bye